Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to Ehe, the reason you see me. Lee Cornell, today Iowa investigators identified the victims as two men from Omaha. KETV News Watch 7's Alex McLoon joins us live with the latest. Julie Robb, 28 year old Marcus Johnson and 27 year old Charles Williams are both dead as a result of this shooting, according to the Iowa Division of Criminal Investigation. The Iowa DCI saying I-29 Speedway in Pacific Junction was hosting an outdoor concert and car show Saturday night. Officials say the shooting broke out just before one of the artists took the stage around 9 o'clock. A witness tells us they did not hear gunshots and were unaware of what was going on until they saw police arrive. We start with breaking news out of Mills County in western Iowa. That's where officials say there was a deadly shooting at the I-29 Speedway near Pacific Junction. They say calls of an active shooter came in shortly after 9 o'clock last night during a car show in concert. Investigators told our sister station KETV that two people are dead. They say there have not been any arrests at this point and they do not have a clear motive. KCCI is working to get more information about that shooting. Hey, they just shut the, uh, the concert down. I've been in the back a couple hours waiting to perform. They just shut the concert down. I don't know, some shit happened at the front, but... We finna take it to Crush Ultra Lounge. The party don't stop. Guess they gonna have to book me again in Omaha, but we finna... We finna take it to Crush, man. Fish it out the party. We finna take it to Crush. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, man, check it, man. Listen, man. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe to the channel, man. Boosie, man. Uh, up in uh, Omaha, Nebraska, up there. Uh, listen car show this would be a concert everything was about to pop off and then this here happened man boosie been catching some heck of a situations here lately um he goes up there he's getting ready to uh perform he sits in the back they say some say for two hours and he's getting ready to get out there and perform and now all of a sudden you know a shooting starts to take place people start to scatter and now he get word he got to go somewhere else man you know, I don't know if he got his back in. I do know, you know, they had to book him to come up there. I'm pretty sure if he was there, hopefully they took care of him. You know, it's certain things that he can't control. It's out of his control, you know, uh, to see a lot of our people come together. And then for something like this to happen is a very, very tough situation, a tra tragedy. You know, two people lost their lives out there. And I, Omaha, Nebraska, man, Iowa, all that stuff, man, is, it, 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 listen, man, to our brothers and sisters up there, we got to do better, man. So, man, you know, and I got my boy, man, OG Pyru, man. You there, bro? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, man. what's going on, man? How, good to hear your voice, man. You see, I'll be capping over, uh, recapping over what's happening on the weekend, man. Uh, Saturday night, this here broke out. I just got a chance to speak on it, but... Man, look like, man, uh, two people lost their lives up there. Boosie was up there to perform, man. Um, and I know, yeah, have you been up on that side of town? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's uh, Omaha. And the tragedy about that, the lab, they've been hitting it hard for the last couple of months. It was a, a young boy got killed up there about a month ago. Uh, they came over to a side and he was trying to uh, look out for a couple of his girlfriends. He was getting ready to go to college as a football athlete. And then... Uh, yeah, I think I heard something about that. Yeah, and uh, turn around the retaliation, they killed another boy from the, from the other side who was driving a car that was supposed to be related. So they've been getting, you know, this uh, colors and boys in the hood syndrome. And it's, 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 a, it's a tragedy that Bootsy had to be, you know, named and even having to be there to, uh, you know, giving some access to that. Yeah, Omar is... They, they they got a real uh, a real tough little situation going right now with this gang activity. Yeah, and I'm I'm pretty sure you know I know Boosie got ears on the ground you know ears pretty much to the ground on uh, how tough it is in these areas. I'm pretty sure he probably done been up there before. You know he he's been a lot of places because he's always working. Uh, how tough is it, man? Being much as Boosie's in the news for this type of stuff right here to happen. Uh, you know, in, 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 while he's doing what he does. Well, you know, it's, it's, it, you know, it's just like 
it's bad publicity because now it it puts a, a shadow on him. He had nothing to do with it. He don't have a dog in that fight. He just came to entertain. And this happened on his watch. You get what I'm saying? So then people, now states are going to be skeptical about having him perform. Or last time, Bootsy was in Omaha, two people got killed. But he didn't have anything to do with it. Wow. So you say you think because of this, it puts a, 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 a shadow or, or some type of situation where people start looking at him is when you when you invite him trouble's going to pop off even though there was yeah, other yeah. local performers probably there that was probably more people to perform but with him being the big name on the card it automatically right. put a black eye on on uh just booking boosie and bringing him to town thinking there's going to be some pop off because of the way that media and blogging is going to put it out there Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Most definitely. Now, when he come into town, they're going to have more police presence because of this situation. Everybody going to get paid but him. Wow. You know? Yeah. And that, that's crazy. And that we fall into that, that, you know, we always make it possible for uh, somebody else to win and we don't win. And, and now, you know, we have concert out here in California right now. Uh, they so uh, intense on blacks entertaining themselves out of here. They start the concert at five o'clock, and you got to be out of there by eight thirty. Wow, because you know I remember when when Kendra came up and all the people came together and it wasn't no violence. We celebrated that. It, and these are celebrations that we have to have. I remember you coming down to Dallas and you said, man, I was on in South Dallas and man, there were people everywhere, you know, and it was just a excitement to see how people come together and there not right. be any, right. any killings, any confrontation. So I remember right. you telling me that and it made me think about it, like, man, you, you, you showed me something like that's a win in the fact that blacks just coming together. Man, you say it's just like the, it's like the seventies and, and, and eighties up in, in Cali or something you was telling. I was like, wow, man, you know, like we don't think about, we take for granted the peace that we able to accomplish when we together. That's right. And that's and I right. think that I think that's something we gotta we gotta celebrate more to get people to be aware of. Just coming out of a situation without a tragedy is is a win. Yeah, that's a win. And we got to understand, man, we got to quit killing each other because this, you know, two two young lives are uh, been given up for Actually, for nothing. What Two no young lives. Property, pro and, and, and they parents probably don't even have insurance policies on no, them. No, and it was a huge, one of them was from a huge family, I heard them say on the news. Like like I said, uh, definitely uh, uh, both of those stations that I just played out of that area, uh, Channel 8 and Channel 7, they reported like crazy on it, man, and, as they do in these local, you know, local areas, man. And it's just... I hate to see, you know, people that look like us, anybody die, but with our people, you know, it's like it touches home because we have so many deaths in, in uh, the black, uh, you know, community. And it's just tough, yeah. man. Just tough. But at any rate, man, um, thank you, uh, OG Pyro, man. I want these people to get in the comments. Let me know, man. Do you agree with OG Pyro? Do you think that this is going to overshadow Boosie as far as the next events that he go to? Or do you feel like this will be something that, you know, it won't get blamed on Boosie? Let me know in the concert. Does this put a black eye in the game when it comes down to booking Boosie for uh, different uh, events? Thank you guys for liking and subscribing to the channel. Boss Talk 101. Make sure you join our membership. Uh, make sure you look for more interviews, more stuff popping out. This week going to be crazy. You better be watching Boss Talk. What a boss is talk. What a boss is talk. Man. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-Heat, a reason you see.